Enrique Loco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Love, Purposes, and Passports. Um, I just like how that rolls off the lips. Love, Purpose, and Passports. Love. <laughs> she like the love part. I do. <laughs> I like the purposes of passports. Um, so, anyway, first let me get a shout outs. <laughs> let me get a shout outs to uh, the homies on the other side of the island. Taylor made dreams. No matter where we are, it don't matter if champagne and caviar. Let it rain champagne. Flea Flaw, Andre and Andrea. Flea Flop. <laughs> I speak Dominican now. Andre and Andrea over there. Flea Flop is actually Chancleta in Spanish, so his name is Chancletas in the Flea flow. Flea fly, that's what she said. I ain't <laughs> saying you know chocolate. Welcome to Flea Flow. Mm. 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 A shout out to Andre and Andrea. We like how they get down. Andre. This is Andrea. We are Love Crossing, Crossing Borders. Borders. You guys already know when we bring in information, we bring in interviews, we bring in facts, and we're going to make it fun for you. You know what I'm saying? Inspired us to come through here, get out a little bit, do our thing. We love this show. You know, show. on the love tip. We love you know, this show. Husband and wife. <laughs> We've been doing this husband and wife thing, so now we're about to hit these YouTube streets, you know, with the travel brothers, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, see if everybody feeling what we have to offer. Um, shout out to BMT, Black Man Travels. We are live. Welcome family to another show. Uh, and BMT in the building. BMT in the building. Shout out to the Passport Brothers. Shout out to Black Man Travel. Black Man Travel Podcast. What up, homies? <laughs> Let me introduce you, uh, introduce us to you guys. Uh, my name is Marcus. This is my lovely, beautiful Dominicana, me esposa, me ride or die, don't ask why, just don't run up on me. She keep that thing on her. Straight gangster with it. <laughs> my wife. This is Wendy. Hi, everyone. Hey. <laughs> In other circles, um, we known as the pros, you know, we new to this YouTube streets, but you know, social media, IG, um, we are the pros, but not those kind of pros. Those kind of pros? Yeah, we'll talk about that later. But y'all know what I'm talking about, dog. <laughs> we are Mr. and Mrs. Pro for you, um, of Pro Hair for you, RD, Erede, Republica Dominicana, um, and pro sourcing for you. So, you know, those are two of our businesses and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk about those a little later. Um, but this is the face of pro hair for you, RD. Um, she popping IG about 12,000 followers <laughs> strong, or maybe just about this far from it. You know, we, we offer beauty products and um, videos and tutorials and so on and so forth. But like I said, we'll share about that a little bit later. But right now we want to talk about love, purposes, and passports. So uh, what we really want to do with the channel is we want to highlight um, the experiences you have um, on this side of the island. You know, it's West Side, Santo Domingo, Santo Domingo Oeste, West Side. Turned up the W one time, baby. Uh, I don't, how do you, like, like, how do you do that? West side? Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. She learning, she learning, but she from the west side, San Domingo, <laughs> uh, better known as La Capital. And uh, we just want to show you guys how it was done on this side of the island. It's a little bit different than um, the beach spots, the beach cities, and um, the other part of the island, so... 
you know, we just, we, we just kind of like want to highlight the experience you have because the island is pop. The, I mean, the island is popping, but Santo Domingo is on. You know, they 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 get out in another way, and um, you know, I think this would be good for. Well, you know, you have um, the passport players, the passport pookies, but I think this might be like good for like the passport Pepe La Pews, you know what I'm saying? Sit down, Daddy. That's better. Gold champagne's the warm you shine. Was that want to kind of slow it down a little bit? Because I know you're going to run up on something. You're going to run up on something. You know, you're going to put that thing in part. You're going to jump out. You're going to be like, yeah, this is the one right here. So when you find the one, you know, you're ready to uh, vacate the premises. You know, we're going to have something vacational for you. You know, and show you how to work this thing. the premises. Yeah. We're going to show you how to do this thing. So roll with us. We're going to have a little bit of entertainment, you know, a little bit of information and a whole lot of motivation. Some of the brothers might be interested in because, um, you know, when, when you step off that plane, brothers, now, you know, and the ones that don't know, they're going to find out. It's like, you get, you know, you be hyped like, ah, it's all about this island, you know, and you step off that plane, all of a sudden things just hit slow motion like, Do you get that little first glass of Presidente, you know what I'm saying? That bottle of Presidente, you know, they keep it at a certain temperature, you know what I'm saying? Just to, you know, just because that's how they rep that thing. And so you start looking around and you start realizing, ooh, it's a whole lot of beauty around. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, as you're noticing this, you also noticing, I see a little bit of African DNA running around here because, you know, this is one of the OG... 31 flavor havens. See what I'm saying? And, you know, you start seeing that African DNA, that African DNA, and you start wondering, like, how that happened? So, you know, I think wifey can give us a little enlightenment on how that happened, you know? And I think, you know, it might be a little interesting. So, beautiful lady my tell me. <laughs> so. How did they get so fine up in here? And how did we get that? African DNA, you know what I'm saying? That, that <laughs> African DNA. So, inappropriate, right? <laughs> but, yeah, if you look at the, the the DNA in the DR, it's like, I don't know, 7% uh, Taino. That's like the, the original Indians that were here. And then, like, the rest is made up, like, half and half, 50-50, of, like, uh, African. And then the other half is uh, European. You know, that... Um, we were the first uh, island to be colonized uh, and the first island to have uh, the largest bulk of African slaves uh, come over. So we just kind of got all mixed up and <laughs> became who we are. So that's where all of so that. When, we, when I first met her, and, and so <laughs> when we first met and we were talking, um, you know, we that, that topic came up. She said, you do know the slaves got dropped off here first. And I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> ah, it makes sense. So what you're saying is, um, so Christopher Columbus is responsible for that. I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Fellas, we might need to start celebrating Columbus Day. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, he's responsible for that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that that was interesting. As you see, you know, this is why I love her. You know, it's like I tell her to put them glasses on. It's like I got this fine ass librarian. You know, we go sightseeing, <laughs> and she just breaks it down do. just I like do. that. You know, I just I be do. like, fly, fly, we go sightseeing, and, and I point at monuments and say this and here, that there, and Ooh, look at this here. So yeah. So anyway, fellas, you know that we 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 trying to um, you know, like they say, we build it as we fly it, and we trying to work this out. This is the first episode, so you know we kind of like we might be a little here and there with it, um, but let's do it. Um, I think that I may have another question 
after we take a toast, let's take a moment to toast this first episode. Toast I'm drinking tea. And she drinking juice. So tea and juice, toast to love purposes and love purposes and passports. Love, purposes. purpose, no, love, love purpose, purpose, and, and passport. passports. Baby. Salud. So good. <laughs> oh yeah. I love tea. I love juice. So we back. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? She's learning how to spell that. What's happening? So let me give a few more shout outs. Let me see. Oh, I got to shout out the homies. Shout out to the homie Fox. Shout out to the homie No Dog. What up, Nolan? Shout out to, to Cuzzo AE. Shout out to K Pizzle, my nizzle. Used to dribble down at VA. <laughs> he said he did it so I didn't have to. Baby. <laughs> Uh, so we back. Um, this is love, purpose, and passports. Love. And uh, ah, she liked the love part. I do. And I like the purpose of passports, homie. <laughs> back to another question we have for the for the lovely young Dominicana right here. You know what I'm saying? That's mine. You know you like that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. We had another question that, um, you know, the brothers would be interested in. Okay. And what they want to know is, what is um, in the capital style as far as the way the ladies dress and, um, you know, when they're going out, when they're at work okay. and just kind of like, you know, when they're doing their thing. Because I know every day, you know, everybody's not fly every day just on some regular stuff, but... When it comes to the club, it comes to drinks, it comes to dates, it comes to supermarkets. <laughs> the su supermarkets. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they ain't getting right at the supermarkets. So, supermarkets. we'll talk about that another time, brothers. I don't even know why y'all up in these clubs and everything. Y'all need to go to these grocery stores around <laughs> here. Uh, yeah, it's something for you. I'm just telling you. Come to La Capital. So anyway, so we're asking is, you know, how do the women dress? I don't want to say necessarily compared to the other parts of the island, but this is the city. It's a little faster and it's a little more professionalism going on as far as, you know, the workspace and all of that stuff. And so when they out partying, when they out lunching, when they are doing all that, how, how's the dress? How's the style of dress here? Well, <clears throat> if you compare it to like the parts of the country that are by the beach, obviously it's uh, a little bit different because we're not by the beach and we're not in the, the country. The mm. beach area and the country areas are like more laid back. You know, the clothes are more um, casual type. I was going to say comfortable, but yeah, yeah. casual, right? Mm -hmm. And then um, remember that, that most people that are in the country, they come to the capital to study and they come to the capital to work. This is like the, the center where all the businesses are at, where all the major companies are at, where all mm -hmm. the major corporations are at. So you'll find people here that are dressed a little bit more uh, professional. You'll have like the little suits or well, we're big on uniforms. <clears throat> Every uh, Most companies will have like, um, I don't know, a company uniform or like a company shirt or you know something like that so it's a it's a little more it's it's a it's a little more professional in the in the capital uh the dress code <laughs> but we all tend to wear very feminine form flattering um clothing just real you know ladylike it is ladylike and it is very, form fitting and the forms yeah. fit and that but that that's in the capital and in the country we all tend to wear well very very ladylike uh, style clothes. Yes. <clears throat> so yeah, even in the supermarkets. 
Yes. <laughs> and what I did notice is there's a difference in the way they dress. They do. They will <clears throat> put on the um, the suits. It can be the pants suit for the yeah. for the women. Um, the office the 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 skirt with the matching jacket form fitting. Yeah. Um, you know they get fly. So oh, you know as you. to where. Yes, oh, indeed. You're you. you're very welcome. So, fellas, you know what that means. You know, it's like when I used to break wide from the homies, you know, they'd be headed to the other side of the island. I mean, they got like a duffel bag, you know, talking about they got the shorts, you know, and the flip flops and the tank tops. I'm like, I got a suitcase. <laughs> Shout out to flip flops. <laughs> the homies would be breaking wide, you know, and they'll have. You know, like I said, they got a duffel bag, you know, with a few shorts and all that. I'm meanwhile, I'm coming to the island. I'm coming to my side. I'm like, <clears throat> I got my suitcase. I got uh, button ups, and you know, got uh, slacks, jeans, red shoes. He's very nice. Loafers, shoes. the gamos, the fair gamos in there, and everything. Because I mean, it's different here. He wears the you know the, the stylish hats, and you know, with like the matching shirts, and he'll Come smoke on. like a cigar. He's you got to get right on the side of the island. I'm telling you, here's here's the thing that I've seen happen before. I've seen um, some of the fellas, you know, I, you know, me and the wife are being, you know, in a spot, you know, we'd be in the club or something, something, you know, and posted up doing our thing. And then you see like maybe five brothers walk in. I know that um, they probably came from the other side of the island. Maybe they waiting for a flight on SDQ. Maybe they just came through, you know, to see how it is on this side of the island. But when they walk in, they got on shorts, you know, and they got on T-shirts. And, um, you know, it's it's not that it's bad. It's just that they don't dress like that on this side of the island. On this side of the island, you know, you got to kind of get right. You know, you got to come through, you know, and have on something that's, um, you know, a little more stylish. Because if not, you'll stick out like a sore thumb. And um, when you see the ladies dress fly like that, you'll realize that um, I messed up. <laughs> I meant to wear something else. <laughs> you know, it's just like that. You know, that's what it is. I ain't making it like that, but I just noticed that. I had to come with a suitcase and while the homies be bouncing out with the carry on, I'm like, hey, what? I get it now. I wanted to circle back to um, the title, uh, why I'm not going back to DR. And obviously, I'm not going back to DR because I'm boots on the ground in DR. <laughs> I live in DR. Post it up, you know what I'm saying? And I like it, and I'm proud of it. You know, we did this. You know, it, 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 it didn't happen overnight. And so, you know, thus the name of the channel. Um, love, purpose, purpose, and passports. Love. You know? Once I got that passport, you know, <laughs> that love. And see, here's the thing, you know, you may love the island or you may love someone in the island. But once you get, you know, you have that passport and you fall in love, whether it's the island or with a person, that's when that purpose kicks in. And some of the brothers, you know, they've been talking about monk mode. So the, the thing mode? is, monk mode. What is, that's, what that's, is monk? Well, what monk mode is, is... When a brother, as um, you know, he got his passport and he's ventured out, whether it's here, whether it's Brazil, whether it's Colombia, whether it's Thailand, um, you know, <laughs> once he get that passport and come out the yard, his life didn't changed, okay. you know. And so when he goes back to the States, the mission in the States has changed. The mission is to get back. To where you were so monk mode is you know you get there and all of a sudden the things you were into there are no longer interesting anymore because now you're on a mission to get back where you were so it's you know no more uh no more going out no more dating no more casual sex you know with you know anything on that side of the water i was speaking about is it monk like like, monk, uh, like monk mode. Monk, you go into okay. monk mode. <laughs> you get focused. You oh get focused. God, that's what that means. You ain't look. 
I ain't trying to deal with nothing on that side of the water, but get my money wow, and get wow. back. I love the way he talks. Wow. On that side of the water. Wow. On that side I of the water. love the way he talks. Get back. <laughs> so what I was saying is, um, you know, my cousin told me, when you get this passport, but your, wow. your hustle is going to change. You know, and like I was saying before, I don't know if this, you know, something happened uh, with the uh, with the uh, video. I had hustled before this passport, but I did. I do understand monk mode, and I do understand when you get that passport, your focus, your focus, you are focused on getting back across that water to uh, live that life across that water, and he was right about that. Um, because that's what it took. It took monk mode to be able to make this happen. Like we said, this ain't happened overnight, right? We came the long way, right? Yes. Yeah. And now we here, you know, we laughing now, you know what I'm saying? But we laughing because that, that, you know, that little journey is over. Woo! We was journeying, coming, coming through SDQ, that catwalk. I just tell her, mama, wear the highest heels you got. And don't get it twisted. You see this right here? I'm 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 six two. So you see in this chair, she kind of like sitting up there. So when she wear them heels, you know what I'm saying? That used to be my fine, fine ass giraffe. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Come, come walking through SDQ. I walk out, hit that catwalk, and I just look for the tallest thing out there, the tallest, <laughs> finest thing out there. Like there she go. <laughs> True reason. You know, I found mine. Get you a reason. Your reason might just be, you know, to get that piece of, you know what I'm saying, being outside, being out the yard. They call it the matrix, you know what I'm saying? I can call it the yards. Remember you was little, you saw them kids that couldn't come out the yard? They had to play in the yard, we play it outside. Come outside, fellas, get that passport. You know, but, you know, some of these topics, you know, we'll bring some of these topics up later. Um, This was just the first ep. We wanted to just jump out here get it started, you know, introduce ourselves, talk about a couple of little things, lightweight. But, um, you know, we hope to have some interesting topics moving forward. Oh, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> you know, uh, we trying to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark, you know, and get monetized, you know what I'm saying, if y'all feeling us like that. But, you know, we about 995 <laughs> followers short. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're going a long way, but I mean, what's happening? Can we, can we, can we get one more? Cause you know, just one more subscriber up here. You know, we up here. Oh, one of the homies in the subscribe or something. Cause uh, we here for you, you know, but we try to, we representing the traveling brothers. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm representing the traveling brothers. It's my wife right here. We showing you how we do it. You know what I'm saying? You get that passport. You're going to find something you love. You might find a land you love. You might find, a life you love, you know what I'm saying? You might find both, you know what I'm saying? I'm here, you know what I'm saying? I found both, you know what I'm saying? God bless me to do that. Here we are, you know what I'm saying? Hope y'all like the page, like and subscribe. Peace. Bye.